Derek and Jerry were looking for more from Thistle after the 3 0 defeat last week, and while they got it, they discovered not for the first time that while fortune might favour the brave, football doesn't always reward the more adventurous team. Eskelis and then Derek Fleming put Colin Scott to the test. Queen's welcomed David Craig back to the lineup, and the former A United defender showed he could be useful in attack as well. Ian Scott could do with Craig keeping fit for a while, but he'll be without Paul Burns for some time. The young midfielder with a big future was carried off for the second time this season. Not too serious this time, thankfully. For Thistle, the series side of the business was reflected in their league position, with Aeschylus seemingly determined to do all he could to change the situation. His shot deflected wide. Andy McLaren was brought on by Thistle and showed an array of tricks and feints. The curve in this ball not enough to seriously trouble Scott. But again, he showed enough to suggest to the Thistle fans that he'll be a useful acquisition during his loan spell. And he probably should have scored his first goal for Thistle. Jim Thompson's error went unpunished, thanks mainly to the goalkeeper. <laughs> McLaren again, flying down the right wing. And with the Queen's defence in disarray, Manny Panther appeared to have done the hard work, only to fall at the final hurdle. That mess would come back and thistle. With ten minutes remaining, Craig rose highest at the corner to secure a win for the part-timers. It's only their second goal in six games, so you can understand the celebrations that followed. And there was even... In time for another chance for Queen's, Derek Lyle foiled by Arthur and Thistle given another lesson on the capricious nature of fate and First Division football. Credit to Pollock. Pollock's a quality side. Uh, they've got quality players and uh, they just didn't get the final touch today. They put it in the back of the net, you know, but uh, we know the road will look a little bit, but you have to do that in this league. We are still part-time, you know, and we're competing with the big boys, as they say, so we're just delighted to get the three points. We asked for more work rate for the players after our disappointing performance last week against St Mirren. We got that, we created the chances, um, but it's been so often the case uh, so far this season, we failed to take them. 